Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to show you how to take advantage of the new Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. You'll be able to upload your content easily directly from this website or via FTP for videos. So let's take a look at how it works. I'm already signed in as a contributor, and I'm in the Uploaded Files area where I don't have any current files that have been uploaded um, that are waiting to be indexed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click the Upload button, and right now it's just sitting there waiting for me to drag and drop files or click to browse. Now, the file that I want to upload, I'm not really done yet. So let's go ahead and head over to Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I've got this Happy Thanksgiving graphic that I'm ready to, to um, upload. Now, you can upload your photos, but you can also upload graphic design like this, which could be used for stock. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a Save As. I'm going to save this out as a JPEG, so we don't upload Photoshop files or TIFFs or anything like that. We upload JPEG files um, for images and, of course, EPS or Illustrator files for vectors. I'm just going to go ahead and save it to this folder called For Adobe Stock on my desktop. And yes, I want to save it with the maximum resolution. In other words, don't downsample it any more than it has to. Now that that JPEG has been saved out, I can go back to the website and I can just browse for it or if, I, if it was convenient, I can drag and drop it right into this window. But I'll go ahead and browse for it. We'll go to um, that same folder where I've got that Happy Thanksgiving ready to go and we'll now just upload that one file. Now I could upload multiple files at the same time. It doesn't have to be just the one. And once that file is uploaded, I'll be ready to start indexing it. All right, so the file has been uploaded and now it's waiting for a few things that I still have to do. First of all, I have to give it a title. So let's go ahead and give it that title, Happy Thanksgiving. Now it already detected that it was a photo, but if not, if I thought it was an illustration, I'd give it save it as an illustration. And next, it's already even um, projected some keywords for me. Now I've got some additional keywords that I could give it. I'm just going to go ahead and paste those in. Now I pasted them all into the uh, single box here, but as soon as I tab out of that box, they will then uh, become separate keywords. And now, even though it gave me five to begin with, I want my first five to be the most important. You need a five, you need a minimum of five. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and just send some of these up to the top of the list. Uh, that I think are more important than the five that it gave me because it didn't really know what this was. Uh, so let's go ahead and send background up there and we'll send celebration up there. All right, so once I got the five in the order that I want, uh, here we'll do Thanksgiving, make sure that's at the top. The last thing I need to do is choose a category so I can say graphic resources. In other words, this can be used for graphic design and whether or not there's a recognizable person or property in it. I'm going to say no because there isn't. So let's go ahead and save the work. And if it's all set and ready to go, it'll be it'll uh, say that it's ready and I can now submit it for approval. So once I submit for approval, that will go into the Adobe approval queue like the rest of my photos that are sitting here and they're now ready to go. Uh, you can also upload video, but you have to do that via FTP. So when I click to upload, you don't drag and drop or choose your videos here. Notice it says videos are FTP only. Now, how do you get the FTP information? Well, you notice where it says learn more at the bottom. When you click that, that's the magic location that will give you three things you need. It'll give you your host information, which is the server you need to upload to, your ID, which is your username, and your password, which is your password. These are all unique to your account. Now it also, you can use any FTP client you want, but it proposes one that's free called FileZilla. So I've got FileZilla already launched and ready to go, uh, but you would need these three pieces of information to put into any FTP cl client that you're going to use. So here's FileZilla. I'm all, I've already got my information keyed in. I'm just gonna go ahead and click Quick Connect and it will connect to the Adobe server and show me this empty directory. Now I'm gonna go ahead and also refresh this side here where I've got the Happy Thanksgiving we've already submitted and my video file, which is a video from my uh, Iceland trip, I'll just go ahead and drag and drop that over to the other side. And it will begin the upload process to upload that video. 
Once the video is uploaded, we'll go back to the Adobe Stock website to index it just like we did the photo. Now that that upload is completed, I can head back to the Adobe Stock site, close my uh, account information, and head over to the uploaded files area once again. Uh, what I should see there is the video file. Once it processes, you'll see a thumbnail there ready to go. And now that that thumbnail has been built, I can go ahead and again complete the process. So it's a video. I'm going to give it a title, Iceland Lagoon Bridge. I don't know the official name of that bridge. It's already given me some proposed keywords. Uh, but once again, I've got some on the clipboard. I'm just going to go ahead and paste in. And once I tab out, uh, those will be um, in separate boxes so I can now move them around. So I'm going to put Icelandic. Uh, we'll put iceberg at the top, we'll put water, um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now we, we scroll down. What category does this go in? It's a landscape, and of course it doesn't have any recognizable people or properties. So now at this point, I can save my work, submit for approval, and submit it. And now it will go into the in review area, just like the photographs and graphic designs that are waiting there to be reviewed. Those get reviewed anywhere, and it takes anywhere from one to seven days. And once it's reviewed and approved, my content will be available for sale. So that's it. That's how easy it is to use the new Adobe Stock Contributor uh, Portal, which is at contributor.stock.adobe.com. Take care and check it out. Uh -huh.